Soccer starts in an hour. Oh Number 529, boys. Soccer starts in an hour. Hey, tell me something. Why do they act like they hurt so bad? It does hurt. It's not. Uh, no. What? Go run. You run full speed and let me kick you as hard as I can. Now, they're big fakers, too. Oh, yeah. Especially yeah. them yeah. Italians. Yeah. You can tell when they hurt. I oh, mean, I when hurt. they lay there. Oh, and, I ain't hurt. And they roll around and then what they jump up and take off running. Uh, no. Are we talking about soccer? The other yeah. day there was one. He, but he was laying got on to the be gr- a reason they do that. Yeah. They're big wrestling fans. The other day they were. Big there, wrestling fans. There was a man laying down, like crying. He was hurt so bad, but then his teammate scored, and all of a sudden he was he healed. He jumped up. And he was healed. Well, what's the deal? It's, I know there's a purpose for it. I don't. I don't I'm it's got to be. I but, mean, you wouldn't I'll, do I'll, it. Let me tell you what I'm the, the purpose weirdo that is. watches soccer, but I can't. I'll I tell you what the purpose an is. They don't ever quit running. Sometimes you need five minutes on the ground to catch your breath. Well, that's maybe true. that's true. Like, that's a I good mean, point. But, yeah. I mean, well, take, point well taken. You ain't got to get hit by nobody. You just get close enough. It looks like you hit somebody. You I, lay down and rest a little. But when they age out of soccer, they ought to just call the WWE because they're, they're the finest actors I will in say, oh, hey. I, I used to play soccer on Saturday mornings with people that are way better at soccer than me. And when you get stepped on when you're running, yeah, it hurts. Well, legit. It doesn't yeah, look yeah. like it yeah. hurts, but the it legit, hurts. The legit ones, yes. But I mean, there's some it, acting there. When it hurts when Black 12 steps on you, it hurts. What? Huh? That was a bull. Oh. <laughs> Black 12. <laughs> Black 12. Black 12. I'll never forget hey, Black he'll 12. Never, he'll <laughs> never forget Black 12, boys. He stepped on him. Yeah, I don't think anybody's arguing that bull, bull riders are. And look, I've been on the bottom of a many a pile of a football field. But, and it hurts, but you get back up and do it again. You don't, I mean, you, you got 27 seconds for you got to run another play. That's, like, that's the way the sport is. Yeah, yeah. you just get that's up and go. For. Soccer, you got to take a break. That's soccer. 90 straight minutes. But, I, you know, soccer, they ought to be able to, like, relay, like, tag in, tag out. All I, that stopping stuff. Like, if you can make it to the sideline, but your guy can't enter till you touch him, then he, right. you got to yeah, rest body Because yeah. right. only he's three switch. people You're can You're making a wrestling yeah. reference again. That's what I'm talking about. But they went hockey. What's wrong with that? Right. Soccer should go hockey. Yeah. And just switch in and out and involve <laughs> fighting. Yeah. I agree. Hockey's awesome. But yeah. not on TV. No. Hockey hey, yeah. I remember it's w- hard to watch. When they had hockey here. Oh, hey, I wait. Went. You talking about the Monroe Moccasins. Yeah. That There's, was the greatest dude, hockey team ever. This dude was in the penalty box and he was <laughs> That's just dogging boy. that guy, yeah, dogging. That's, that's and he boy. had his, he had that hockey stick up like that, and he went, boom, like that. Hit that glass. That dude jumped back five seats, poured his drink he, all over his woman. He, he'd, he'd like to, he'd, he'd <laughs> like to done it to his nose. No. Oh, yeah. That makes you wish the glass wasn't there. Right? Yeah, right. does he like never, tar- dude never Smart turned around, and acknowledged he was there. He just, boom, whop. Si, did you ever go to the hockey games in Monroe? No. Nope. You didn't. That was I'm pretty not, cool. I'm not you did, hockey. huh? I, I went to a I'm, few of them. Hey, you got to skate after it. You got to skate? And yeah. We, so we were the moccasins, and mm-hmm. when we scored goals, we'd all throw rubber snakes onto mm-hmm. the ice. That's right. Yeah. Hey, that's why I didn't go. Yeah. We only yeah. got to do it three times that season. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. They were better <laughs> than people. I was, no, my family. Terrible. Hey, hold on. We were season ticket holders. Of course you were. Of course you were. Oh, that was played in a theater named after your grandfather. No, of course you it was were season ticket holders. played next door, orders. and that's my uncle, yeah. sir. Oh, my bad. Uh, I, I get those Howards confused sometimes. And he was the mayor. <laughs> uh, but he wasn't the there mayor. There so many of them. There we go. They just keep coming. Oh, them hired now. It runs deep, deep around here. So. Deep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anyway, See? the Monroe Moccasins, we went to a game one time. And they couldn't finish it because everybody got in a fight, and there were so many people that got penalties they couldn't field the whole team. Oh, Both teams. Who needs? They should have got people out of the stands out there. I would have been in. I loved going to live hockey games. Boy, I got that pretty good. Lord have mercy. Yeah, no, get out. Of I've here. never been. Have you ever been to an NHL game? Y'all yeah. did events at hey, hockey games. Oh, yeah. lacrosse. Oh, me and Goblin. Lacrosse. But me and Goblin, we did that one where we dropped a puck up there in Pennsylvania. On a yeah. hockey game. Was it yeah. like a minor league team? Yeah, it was. I think yeah. minor league hockey might be the greatest sport ever invented to go to. I can hey, tell you this. Between LeBron. all the players, there wasn't a full set of teeth in it. No. Nah. Mm-hmm. No, nah, they're, they're grinding it out. <laughs> I mean, they're all Canadian, living yeah. in hey, Louisiana. They all, they all have, uh, what is it, dentures? 
Yeah, well, I got tickled because, like, there were three dentists that were sponsoring the thing, like, around the deal. <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, that fits. Right. Well, know? hey, look. Yeah, it was, right. a, it was a cool day. They, they put carpet out there for me and Gobble to walk <laughs> out there and drop that puck on that yeah. ass. So, it was. Did they gave you carpet? Oh, yeah. yeah. That, yeah, that mess was slickery, right. son. You had to. I have, fall down. I have a bunch of hockey pucks from the Monroe Moccasins back in the day. Day you a still collection? Got, yeah, I, I got that puck from that one that we went to. It's mm. in my closet. You know, I mean, look how cool the logo was. No, that ain't, that ain't cool. Oh, that man. is cool. That ain't cool. The Monroe Moccasins that right there hockey is team. Like, you get close to I, me, I will bite you. I, that's why I never went to that stupid the, thing. They didn't bite many people. Oh. The Monroe Moccasins Ooh. were awesome. Shreveport always killed them. Don't nasty. bring up. Nasty. So nasty. The nasty. mud bugs always whooped them. So. So my wife nasty. was from nasty. Shreveport. Nasty. She a mud bugs fan? Mm. So there, we have a Monroe Moccasins jersey at our house and a Shreveport Mud Bugs jersey, which is sad. Yeah. Mm. Now I've been there's, I know Brittany loves going hey, to those Predator games with her dad. The I mean, Monroe Moccasins a, never even had a losing record. Thank you. <laughs> thirty five and thirty two. Hey, they never had a record. Thirty seven and twenty six. <laughs> Yeah. Attendance kept dropping though. Yeah. 39 I remember that and 25. lacrosse game we went to in Canada. And them dudes get hurt, they tote them off. Yeah. When they go down. Yeah, that's a bad dude. They go down. They went running by them and they'd whack them in the back of the head with that stick. <laughs> yeah. You're you're out. Hey, I mean. Hockey. No, that was lacrosse. Lacrosse. Oh, they took that well, stick, that stick with a net and they whop. Yeah. They come running behind them like setting a the screen. Oh, They're yeah. like, "No. Whop." I was like, Whew. Me, don't come around behind me. Dude sir. goes no. down, five people come out, put him on a stretcher, towed him off. Yeah. Well, hey, get him out of the way and continue the uh, game. That's what they done. That was Next up there. man up. That's when we could travel to other countries. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Boy, those were the days. <laughs> no, those yeah. were the days. That, was, that wasn't even in the 1900s. No, yeah, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was this century. Yeah, I guarantee you. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's amazing what we can get off on a tangent on. We went from soccer to wrestling. To, to travel, to minor to league hockey, hockey, to lacrosse. The what, league doesn't even exist anymore. What other, what other sport do we want to talk about that's on ESPN seven? I mean, I, cornhole was on TV the other day. Speaking of that, look, can, have we we didn't talk about this on the last one, but my can man? we talk about how vile that hot dog eating contest is? My man Joey I mean, Chestnut. Why would you stick a bun in water? To let it go, it smooth. Help you, it, help you eat it down well, the gullet. Well, well. Yeah. They didn't enjoy one bite. Not well, one I, bite nope. did he enjoy. Yeah, but I'm just saying, hey. He he wins by so much. I, he should break out some ketchup and mustard for like the last one. Least. Who was Little second? Relish. Who was second Let me look this it up. year? It was like 50-something. He was ate, second? And he yeah. ate 76 or yeah. 79 or something? Joey Chestnut. 76 hot dogs? Psycho. Yeah, yeah, in 12 minutes or whatever it is. With a bun? With, With bun. a bun. Well, he never eats them at the same time. That's one more than he did last year. They like grab two. They, they take the the hot dog out, the wiener out, and they eat the wieners, and then they stick the bun in a cup of water. I mean, you're going to talk about terrible. Terrible. They terrible. never. No, the, no, no, here's the thing about the that. Female that's that's champion, bad for your body. No. It, but, he, keeps, he gets one more every year, so well, no, just no, expanding. I'm just saying, hey. Did that's, we find second place? Hey, that's bad for your body system. I, I found the female. She ate 30 and three quarters. I don't know how you I mean, My deal that. with my man Joey is he wins by such a wide margin. He should start. Like, why don't you start shutting it down? Because he's setting records he every year. He probably did. Yeah. yeah, but who, I mean, once you got one, do you want to beat yourself? Like, it's still your name in the record yeah. book. Like, hey, he just keeps up in it. So, hey, you know, nobody else. You got to defend. Him. You got to defend. The, your uh, because if record. he starts mailing, I mean, the man's living is based on. Can I down 70 hot dogs in 10? Really? Oh, now, how do you terrible. train for that? Eat 100? What does that? No, 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 no. <laughs> Eat 120 <laughs> minutes. Hey, what does that come up a minute? 20, 12 minutes? 7.6. Yeah. yeah. Is it 10 minutes or 12? I couldn't remember. 10. 10. Yeah. And so then it's. 10 minutes. So basically, he's eating a hot dog every eight seconds but but that's like front yeah, that's front dirty. heavy though because like in the first two he minutes he's, he's got about 30 like all right so I mean, joey chestnut new world record 76 hot dog jeffrey esper came in second with 50 so he had time he could have dressed up a few of those at the end 
Yeah, no, uh, yeah. Or just not ate them, like done the interview. Yeah, guys, it's a great day. Like, you know, yeah, I me mean, a, just. Uh, yeah, know. I've got the competition beat by yeah. 20, 27. I mean, 26. I'm not saying yeah. kneel on the ball, but kneel on the ball. Like, yeah, it's time know. to go practice. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, God, it's time, it's time to look for let, new water. Let the third, yeah. third and fourth stringers come in. I got to call a timeout, though. Wow. Because uh, somebody that came in 17th place only ate 17. I might could get there. Oh, right. 17 and it's harder than you how many did no we we did the hot dog on the four yeah i won didn't i yeah i think i I got 11 did you win though no i need to go get the video of you after water i wasn't stuck i I didn't practice that's terrible i think i could get to 17 but i don't think i want to no how do they get rid of them i mean the uh, the obvious answer is gotta throw up at the end right uh, i i would go to the hospital like, hey, I need y'all to pump this. Like, whatever this sludge is inside of me, like all these, all pump these it. pig nostrils and chicken pump toes. It, baby. Like, hey. let's get that. Let's get that out. That's what I was looking at, and while ago, what I thought was, you know, how's he gonna get rid of these things? Yeah, so I mean, seventy six yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, he wouldn't have to eat for about eight days. That's just that ain't funny. good for your body. I'm I mean, you. well, what hot dogs are oh. made out of? Now look, don't yeah. don't hear me hating. I love a hot dog. I, I, I but there's go. liable there's liable to still be some in you from ten years ago. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, well, what them things is made out of? Yeah, I ate a lot of hot dogs last weekend. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. You didn't eat seventy six in ten minutes. I didn't eat seventy six in the last year. No, and I eat a lot of hot dogs. I I do love a chili dog. I like Ooh. chili though. Yeah, I like. Oh yeah, yeah. you gotta have a little chili on it. With some onion, yeah. with some onion, with some mustard, some mustard. cheese, just a and dog, whole cheese. just a yep. dog in bread. Nice. I, ain't, I ain't about that life. I'm fine with ketchup, mustard, and sometimes a little relish. Oh no, yeah, no, yeah. no relish, no relish. Or <laughs> Godwin's out oh. on all things no. pickle. Okay, no. that is a fine-tuned athlete. How old is Joey? All I have to say is God bless America. How old is Joey? How old is Joey Chestnut? Real quick. Uh-oh. Oh, I lost it. Boy. He I lost, lost it. He, he gone. lost it. Woo-hoo. It's gone. How old is Joey Chestnut? Joey Jaws Chestnut is... 43 so years old. Size si says 43. I think 43. He's... He may hit 45. No, mm-hmm. look, no older. No older than 45. Yeah, he's got uh, two more years. I'm saying he's 43, though. You're saying he's the finest athlete, the greatest athlete oh, to ever grace no, America no, no, is no, only 37 years old. 37. He, he's 37? He's, he's won more than anybody else. So he doubled his age in hot dogs eight in 10 minutes. Oh, that's right. Just think about it that way, and let's go to our first break that's before right, I course. throw up thinking any harder. Right, than this. Si, look, I did get something in the mail for you, though. Something came in you the mail today. Truck? Huh? You got it here? No, I, I went off and left it. Uh, but well, our our friends over at Tommy John sent you a pair of the new Apollo underwear. And I must say. Apollo? Live at the Apollo, boys. Look, showtime at the Apollo, That's right? right. Showtime at the Apollo. So, look, here's the deal. They're very comfortable. I accidentally put them on. I thought they were for me. And okay. then I read the card that said, Si, thank you so much. So, I, I washed them. them. They're they're almost new. It's they not a, a problem. They have a picture of Cy That's, wearing them on their website. Right. Oh, look they're at him. Look at Cy. Yeah. Si, you're looking good, boy, man. Boy, there it go. Look, look at them fine legs. But anyway, the Apollo is Tommy John's newest and most advanced men's underwear yet, with a performance grade dry release fabric blend that is exclusive to Tommy John. It's Tommy John's latest comfort innovation, and you can't get it anywhere else. Apollo men's underwear is proven to keep you drier and up to seven degrees cooler than regular cotton underwear. And hey, hey ready, that's a and fight. ready for stage work at any second, boys. <laughs> that's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. They have fanatics. Apollo underwear is soft, supportive, stretches for the perfect fit every day, and is available up to a 4XL. Hey, so, you looking me for? I'm not there. I didn't say you were a four. I was just letting you know it went to four. Look, it went they to even four, come so. in a patriotic one that Cy's si seen wearing here. Oh, there Lord. Go, <laughs> with, over, with over 15 million <laughs> pairs sold, men across America love Tommy John underwear because there's no more floppy, <laughs> sticking, Easy. or chafing. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And like all Tommy John underwear, the Apollo comes with the best pair you'll ever wear or it's free guarantee. Tommy John's new Apollo men's underwear is high end for your rear end, and you can't get them anywhere else. Right now, get 20% off your first order at TommyJohn.com slash duck. Go to TommyJohn.com slash duck for 20% off. TommyJohn.com slash duck. See site for details. Here, here's sign like a pair of gator skin. We should talk about something else. 
Mm. <laughs> I got a question. What else is going on? Yeah, because you you make me sick. You know how the Lord will never let you down? Yep. Yep. Well, why didn't you bring your trumpet? Because I brought you bread. Oh. 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 You know how long it took me to get that bread? Here's what we're (laughs) going to do. Hey, here's what we got to do. Touche. (laughs) Touche. We're going to have to start putting a fine on you, levying a fine on you. you We didn't levy a fine on you. We need a jar. We should have a jar that people have to put money in. Why? We're going to levy a fine on you. Size idea, not mine. I did play taps the other day. Was it good? It was pretty good. Boy, my jaw was sore. (laughs) You ain't used them. You ain't used used them, so hey. I got to play. I got to play. That's right. He said he rubbed them. I said they were sore. They were I can't play an instrument, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even need a trumpet. I know. He doesn't need a trumpet. There you go. Oh, my goodness. That's gracious. fantastic. Well, I was just, I, I knew our fans had been clamoring for it. Hey, we need to take him, need to take him down on Bourbon Street in New Orleans and let him play some jazz, boys. Apparently, we just need to sit him outside the front door here and put a box there and see if people will leave him some tips. There you go. Put me a cup out. I'm not you ought to do that, that just for fun. Take my hat off and lay no, no. it down in front of me. No, yeah. no. You need to do that just for fun. Well, we need to get you Go some on sunscreen. street corner. I tried one time. I sat on a street corner to see if people would give me hey, money. Did it worked for Willie. Me? Willie sat in front of the RV that one time. And that is true. Yep. That guy threw some chains in his coffee cup. Yep. And it had coffee in it. I had a story like that, but yep. I was offered <laughs> a warm bed to sleep in yeah. outside of the hospital. Yeah. The he best said, part was the, with Willie's, though, was his picture was on the bus yeah. behind him. I didn't have any pictures of yeah. myself. <laughs> I was just playing games on my phone outside of hospital. Go, buddy. <laughs> never forget it. That was a Walmart in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I'll never forget oh, it. Good old Murfreesboro. That's Bar- hilarious. Yeah. Well, it really was because oh, Willie had to chase me out and say, here, here's your money back, buddy. Yeah. Come look on up on yeah. the bus. Right? Oh, Willie took the money? <laughs> well, he threw it in his cup. He threw it in his coffee cup. And then he said, wait, is it. that you on that bus? Like, oh, I Robinson? never heard the dude. I, I oh, thought yeah. the dude just asked him if he needed anything. No, he threw him a little cash down. And then he looked up and saw his picture on the bus and compared it to him. It was like, yeah, oh, oh, oh. Oh. wait a minute that. now. Yeah, hold on now. He oh. judged a book by its cover. That's yep. what he did. Yep. Yep. That sucker. And then he saw the face on the cover and was like, uh oh. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. boy. Yeah. Not what it seems. He's doing all right, I hear. <laughs> well, Calvin, I yeah, can't believe he's doing pretty good. I really am a little upset you didn't bring that trumpet. Well. And I didn't even have nothing to offer you and trade for it, but. Yeah, there you go. You did get a loaf of bread. I did get a loaf of bread. It was what, was the, what, what, what was the final ending of that loaf of bread? Did Miss Paula get to try it? No. You just ate the whole loaf? She got. Of course. I whacked it up in big old slices like that. It made me a big old ham sandwich. I put it in the heat, lay in the microwave, like oh. you said, and put butter on it. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was top shelf right there. The top shelf, boy. <laughs> hey. Boom. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, I've sir. never seen Galvin so happy as when he talks about a sandwich. <laughs> I, a, I swear it makes him happier than duck hunt. I cut me and some a ham pieces sandwich. of thick tomatoes. Tomatoes, yeah. Oh, tomatoes, boy. And thick tomatoes. Thick slice of purple onion. Ooh. Hey, Everything about this eat. sandwich was thick, boys. Yeah, it, <laughs> was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Even the boy eating it. How tall was it? It was about that tall. Ooh, <laughs> hey, there you go. <laughs> I had me about seven, eight slices of meat in there. Oh, oh some well. of that. Right, so there's a sandwich. Some of that black so, forest ham. So, Godwin, we had an email from a man named David, who also is a has an affinity for sandwiches mm-hmm. from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Look right up there. Yeah. I'm going to throw yeah. it up. I got to read the whole thing first. Yeah. I bet you he had a big old piece of cheese on it. Oh, he had a few of them. S- yeah. Brisket, turkey, corned beef, ham, bacon, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, mayo, Dijon mustard on a toasted brioche Kaiser roll. Uh, and it looked like that. It looked like yeah, it. Right take there. the corned beef out. It'd be pretty good. Look at that sandwich. It's nine inches tall. You wouldn't eat that? Oh, let me tell you what happened. He sent this. He, had he to took that you. picture. He took that picture of that sandwich, and then this is what he did. Man, he squashed that baby so he could fit it all that, in his mouth. That's it. That man said, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. That's right. good. Corn beef, though. I ain't much no, on yeah, that. Yeah, corn beef. Corn beef. I ain't okay. much on the Rubens. 
You don't like a Reuben? Nope. Miss Paula does. Right. She loves them. Yeah, I, I like a that. Cuban more than a Reuben. Never had a Cuban. Never had a Cuban? It's, no. a, it's a ham sandwich with mustard. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> no, and, and pulled pork. Well, yeah, I, put, I, I put mustard on my sandwich. <laughs> and my and pit, but, them Cubans Ooh. like a pickles now. Oh, so. and you got to you got to sprinkle lots of pepper on it. And yep. Swiss cheese. Yep. And How Swiss come when cheese. Godwin comes on, we talk about sandwiches so much? Because well, what else? What else man. would you talk about? He's a sandwich. Man. Uh, here's all I know. He also sent a picture of that sandwich. And that one's got French fries. That looks pretty good there, too. Oh, that's filthy. My man that's Dave. A sub, like a bear. That's not a sandwich. That's a that's a hoagie-esque. Oh, right, we're about to go down to the is a hot dog a sandwich thing. No, no but I was looking at them hand-cut fries that look really good. Oh, yeah. Good. yeah really yeah. good. Ooh, but yeah. I think the people should send us in their, their greatest sandwich. There you I go. need a picture of, of our listeners' sandwich. greatest sandwich. Wow, I should have took a picture of that sandwich. You should have. Send in to hello Why at duckcallroom.com, and we'll have Godwin rate your sandwich That's right. on Amazing. a scale of 1 to 10. We're going to have yeah. Godwin go Gordon Ramsay yeah. on sandwiches. Godwin, rate what, my plate. Yeah, what do you give that one? You got to get Well, that one Because uh, it's got corned beef. It's got the good texture. And the <laughs> good texture, boys, first of all. But the Reuben is going to kill the the. the Brisket yeah. taste. Yeah. The corn so beef. you need to take the corned beef off of there. So so one through ten, what do you give it? That's about a seven. That's about a seven. About a seven, boys. Didn't make <laughs> Just it. because of the corned beef. And which way is what? Ten's the best and well, one's yeah. the least? Okay. I was just checking. Yeah. What do you how do you uh, normally rate things? Duh. Well, hey, it depends on how you he rate it. He says one's <laughs> the best. Hey, one may the be worst. the best. Hey, it's, you know. But what? if you like the number 10, hey, go with that. I, I'm out. I'm I done. Nothing. I got no words. I can't, I can't operate with that logic. I That's cannot. He cannot I, logic. I, I refuse. He refuses, boys. Si? I don't, I don't, I'm so confused. He's out. Where did we go from Well, there? here we go, Si. I'm going to rate it at a number two. Let's take our second break. We'll oh, be okay. back after right. Number hey. two. You don't know. Hey. Si? Yeah. What do you think of our friends over at Samaritan's Purse? Look, they are the best. Okay. They do a lot of good work with our veterans. They also show up. Okay. I say I say it this way. They actually talk the talk and they walk the walk. They do, okay. Yeah. Their actions back up what they say. Okay. Anytime like when it flooded down here, they showed up and, hey, they helped a lot of people get their homes back in order, tearing out carpet. Uh, sheet rock and stuff and putting it all back in and then you know so they're they're you know first class operation i have to agree this summer one of their big their big pushes is for as if you can see on our screen here operation heal our patriots which is a ministry designed to help injured veterans and their mm -hmm. families so um you know a lot of times those guys come back home guys and gals not just guys um but those folks come back home they've given it all for us and yeah, then a and lot of times it falls forgotten. flat and they're forgotten yeah. about so samaritan's purse this summer's doing operation heal our patriots which focuses on those injured veterans and their families uh super good cause to give look they they do a lot of things si mentioned they show up in the face of natural disasters um you know fires floods you name it they're there um and they're there to work they're not just there to to get the photo ops and move on so we've seen it here in, in north louisiana um they're an international relief organization with a commitment to love and help people all across the globe in times of crisis and do it all in the name of jesus yep. Samaritan's Purse rushes to help victims of floods, tornadoes, and other disasters in the U.S. and around the world. They also provide medical care, clean water, children's heart surgeries, and other life-changing aid. We all have the opportunity to be like a good Samaritan by showing the love of Christ to those around us, sharing the gospel, and being the hands and feet of Jesus. Here's what we need you to do. Go to SamaritansPurse.org duck to find out how you can get involved with this ministry. Trust me, there are great testimonies of what God is doing and opportunities to get involved. Again, that is SamaritansPurse.org slash duck to learn more. SamaritansPurse.org slash duck or click the link in the show notes. Well, look. What are we doing now? I'm going to tell you what we're doing. What did it say? It's time to bring the pain. Time to bring the pain. Well, look, here's... Here's something cool about this week. This is number 50. Number oh, 50. We're on number 50. 50. That's right after 49. 
Well, we appreciate y'all uh, running it up there to 50. Yeah. I mean, is this where we – did we tell them I, now? Well, hey. Well, well, you can tell them now or we can tell, nah, them, don't tell, tell them, them later. Don't tell them. That size quitting? Hey. This, is, this is it. This is 50's it. it. Yeah, that's like, it. That's all we signed I, up I, to do was 50. Contract. So. Nobody told me. <laughs> hey, yeah. Contract. This well, is it. Sorry. <laughs> So, look, we appreciate y'all getting us to 50, but yeah. we didn't want to start that way, but we we do feel like we should tell you that. That's pretty awesome. It's, 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 it's over. It's thank God. God it's Ain't that 50. so? Yeah. Turn out And, hey, lights. it's so much uh, time flies when you're having fun. It really does. Right. It really. 50, 50 episodes? Gone. That's pretty good. That's Gone. almost yeah. 100. Hey, here's the deal. We're halfway to 100. <laughs> halfway to almost 100. Almost 100 on what scale? Well, you're closer than you were at 49. That's right. Yeah. Hey. I mean, I'm just saying. Smart man. I hadn't watched the news for three weeks. What's happened in, in, in the news? In the today? news? Yeah. Are we just leaving that, that we're, we're done? Well, we done, hey, we done discuss the 50th. On that scale of hey, It's hey, over. It's it over. It ain't over. Yeah, yeah. It's it over. It ain't over till it's hey, over. Until I get a new contract, it's over. It's over. Johnny, hey, did you, did you, not, hey, did you, you not get the it. email? No. I'm, you did not read the I'll be back. You got the computer. Well, maybe they're giving you a spinoff and just yeah. firing us. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Hey, well, that maybe your okay. show. We hey, gone. It may be J- J.D.'s show. I'm That's sure, a bad idea. I sure <laughs> our man Big <laughs> Warren would love he that. He said, oh. it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Oh, oh hey. All right, tell so, me what's been happening in the news. I don't think we can just leave it the joke that we're quitting. It's not a joke. It's not a Y'all joke, Y'all gotta JD. stop it. People are sad right now. Johnny D. JD. You're, you're the sad. only sad one. We're like, hey, we can go fishing. No. Hey, so. There's plenty of people in the comments that are sad. They're not because sad. Because y'all are liars. My contract, okay? That is an Omega my, XL I know, ad. but hey. You're all liars. Just, hey, I'm just telling you, my contract is over, okay? We're going to 100. The date. The only hey. way we're stopping. What do you mean going to 100? Episodes. At uh, least. Hey, I'm not doing another one. To well, the people, moon. people, that is a lie. To We're going to be back Look, next week. Look, because number one, hey, hey, I hadn't got paid for the fifty. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> okay, for crying out loud, you well, think hey, I'm fixing to do some another one? Things are more important. We're just trying to have fun. Oh no, here. with me, it's about the money, Jack. <laughs> That's not even close <laughs> to true. Size, size, going back on what he says. <laughs> said, he said there wasn't a price on a good time, but no, there's a price. Oh, there you are. Right. <laughs> liar. You're all lying. Hey, look, <laughs> hey every man gentlemen. has his price. They're lying. Right. We'll see you next week for fifty-one. And, and hey, then 52. Right. And I'll give you an example. Okay. Jason done an event. He He's always does up. his duck call demonstration. He did it, and the guy said, Hey, I want to buy that duck call. You just blew. And Jason said, uh, It's not for sale. Yeah, everything's for sale. And the guy said, I'll give you $1,000. Jason, Hey, I told you it ain't for sale. Jason's an He said, tech. You know, tripping it. Three grand. Jason said, Hey, I told you it ain't for sale. He said, tripping it. He can make another one. Hey, no, no. Hey, he finally got it up about 10 grand. And Jason said, sold. Give me the money. He sold what? He finally, Uh, hey, he sold a duck call for 10 grand. I'm about to send Jason an invoice for that call. (laughs) I don't (laughs) believe that. I'm at least going to get our 50 bucks out of it. Hey, get 50 bucks out of it. Depending on which one it was. No, you ain't getting it. (laughs) Trust me when I tell you that. That's out. He gone. Oh man! Well, every man has it. Has price. been fun though. I mean, the 50, well, no, no, it's been I've fun. enjoyed it. It's been a good time. I yeah. think we should do another fifty, well, and then another well, fifty. That's up to the powers that be. Y'all right. are messing and, with our uh, poor when listeners. the paperwork comes through. I'll read it. And we'll see talk you. about it. That's right. I've yep. seen the hey, paperwork. Negotiations. You're negotiations are in. Negotiations. Negotiations. Oh, negotiations. Right. Right. Well, hey, you already uh, negotiated, uh, and we're doing uh, this for at least a whole year. So in your face, Jack. He's got the ghost. Oh, I didn't want my contract to He's got the ghost. Uh, hey. He got more power no, than me. I, that's right. I didn't want my contract to All right, well, uh, see you later, right. I guess. There's no but problem. they got over on me already, okay? That's all of it. All right, Si, you can tell them. You <laughs> tell them, Si. Tell them. Okay, okay, hey, it's a joke. You can ah, tell them, hey, si. It's a joke. I was hey. genuinely oh, worried yeah, that he yeah, wasn't yeah. joking. Right. Yeah. You thought you done lost your honey hole, did you? He gonna actually have to go work for a living. Yeah. I'm gonna be selling crickets and shiners <laughs> next week. Oh, oh, and shiners. Hey, the t-shirt mud buggies too. Enough. But God. look, fifty though, that's pretty cool to be able to reach that, and we truly thank you. Hey, I've actually for reached, I've yeah. reached two fifties this year. Two fifties? Yeah. Oh, your anniversary. Oh, 50, anniversary. Hey, the fifty years I've been married to that mean redhead. 
And, I, <laughs> and, I, and I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. There you go. Good there you job. Go. <laughs> that you put up with it and still married. Yeah. And then oh, the 50, 50 episodes. And I've got to sit That's by awesome. you for like Hey, that woman knows I love her to death, boys. It's just by, you know, let me show you, throw that in there. <laughs> just slip mm. that in, even though you call her boy. That, 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 hey, that way I won't get a beating in there when I get home. Now I got to get another 50. <laughs> She'll give him a $50 bill when he gets home. Oh. The good news, Si, is I don't think Christine watches. <laughs> The good news is she don't really care. <laughs> yeah, that's the best news. <laughs> that's the best news. Okay. She ain't watching or listening, so I think you're safe. Oh, no. Hey, she has to live with me, so no, she's not interested. But I am interested in size. Has Willie sent any bizarre news that we need oh, to talk about? Oh, yeah. has Willie sent bizarre, bizarre news? Because I heard something Ooh. said, okay, that somewhere there's a pitting, uh, no, spitting, excuse me, not pitting. Oh, I got to look that spitting one up. Spitting cobra. Bedding goat. Yeah. And I wanted to know, did he escape from a zoo? Or what, what was the what cobra? Happened? He I was in North Carolina. Spitting, spitting got, cobra in North Carolina. He got caught. He wasn't as slick as that tiger in Houston. Yeah. yeah. He got caught. Oh, uh -huh. no. Somebody shoot him? I don't know. I don't really know exactly. Cobra? Because you know, I don't know if somebody North? had a pet that got loose. I'd suck Why would anyone have a Well, hey, cobra? look, you got crazy people around this world, okay? Yeah. A bull constrictor, what? There was something in the news about a bull constrictor, I think. Python. There was a python, python loose oh. in the Baton Rouge Mall. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Be, but they, they closed the mall cause for safety, but not for the people, for the python. Yeah, because they was in Louisiana. They knew somebody decapitate that, that sucker. That thing was about hey, to come yeah. a pair of boots. If I'd have yeah. seen him, I'd have his head off. And I know you would. And you and everybody <laughs> That's else. That's why they closed the mall. Right. You and everybody hey, else in this state. That's ready to close the place down. Yeah. So the North Carolina thing. Yeah. What in the name of goodness gracious? I don't know. They had the one 70 at. venomous snakes in their basement. Wow. And one got loose. See what I'm telling tell you? Hey. <laughs> See what I tell you about crazy 70. people? Seventy. Look at the look on Sai's face. <laughs> Seventy. I knew it had snakes. to do with a crazy human being. Okay. Oh, Seventy no. poisonous snakes. No, in no, 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 no. Venomous. Oh, uh, venomous. very different, sir. Well, hey, no one is. Hey, venomous and poison are the same thing. Okay, trust me. All has Venom to do with is another of... word for poison. No, it's not. Especially when it comes from a snake. Method Stop. Oh, venomous. yes, it is. Stop it. No, it's not. All right, yes, Stop. sir. Okay. Stop. I would like the biologist the, to weigh in. You're making you're difference. making me uncomfortable here. Okay, educate me. Then. Educate him. There's a difference between venom and poison. Do you know what it is? No, sir. Clearly I do not. not. He just said right. that. Hey, right. clearly <laughs> I do not. It's the method in which the toxin is delivered. Venom, bite, inserted into you, stung. Something puts it into you. Poison, secreted. Like don't go lick a frog. He secretes poison. <laughs> Why would somebody a lick snake, a you can lick a snake and you're fine, as long as he don't turn around and dope pop you. So that's the difference between venom and poison. There Both of them will kill you. I was just fixing that. Well, one of them will you. Make know you know what this sounds like to me? Okay. And Education, just, you're welcome. No, no, and I'll just give you the, the, the uh, initials. That sounds like a bunch of BS to me. Oh, big snake facts. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, All right. Big, yeah. It's going to be C. Big snake okay. facts. Right. Big snake facts. One of them? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Well, there right. it is. Okay. <laughs> I thought so you said it's the big method. Steak. It's I the like met method steak. of delivery. I yeah. just got a handle. So, so you're welcome. I'm teaching you something, Si. Look, you're welcome. Yeah, I don't anyway, know. I don't they buy. say you can't teach an old dog new well, tools. I, I, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I'm going to go read it. Read up on this tonight. Look at his eyes. You can read up on it right now. Look at his computer. Oh, yep. It's freaking me out. What was what the say, outcome? So what? it was called a, a, a zebra cobra. cobra? A say that ten uh, times. Hey, zebra cobra. It's a zebra cobra. <laughs> cobra. No, zebra. <laughs> zebra cobra. Ten <laughs> times real fast. When did I you start struggling with ours, Hammer? Well, I'd normally say zebra because it makes me laugh, but zebra cobra. That's him? Zebra cobra. Zebra cobra. Join me in my microphone. Is that him? That is him. So... It was in a neighborhood. Tell us, do you know about zebra cobras? Why did he have 70 venomous snakes in his basement? Well, he's a lunatic. Was he selling the venom <laughs> I don't to know. the hospital? Hey, we don't have well, that information may, hey, yet. Hey, he may be doing but the, it was in a neighborhood for like days, and everyone in the neighborhood was terrified because like, oh, that'll, thing, that'll kill you. This thing was loose for days? Yeah. Oh, for days. And then 
it it huh. slithered onto a glue trap on oh. someone's front porch. Glue trap. Uh, glue. You can't even get them things off your shoe. Well, so. they got the snake with it. Well, he's yeah. ugly. I know that. Oh. You tell me, hey, he don't they, look like that boy's been whooped with ugly sticks. But look, here, think of him. God. There were sixty nine of his buddies in a basement. No, no, I know. How about that? But it's not illegal. In North Carolina, no, so it's now, not illegal. So now they're trying to pass a law. I'm, I'm not right. saying anything's illegal, but you know, yeah, but seventy. That's just dumb. Seventy. Why? Why? No. Unless you're in there making any venom. It didn't say what, what his purpose was of having all them venomous snakes. Mm-mm. Not to live, apparently. I don't even like looking at these things. What? No. Hey, what? All, did he have like some really cool one? Uh, it said like fifteen different he, species. He looked uh, like a, a mixture of a rattlesnake and a milk snake. Yeah, he ain't from around here. Yeah. He's from uh, South Africa. Look oh, at him. Uh-oh. <clears throat> there he look is. Look at this bad boy. Yeah, yeah there he is. He is. Right. Buddy, there he is. Uh-uh. Well, he's now, hey. his head up way too right. far. Oh, no, no. The here. king cobra is, you know, you're talking about a snake. That, no, that's a snake. Yeah, he's he's one of them. And then mambas. Yeah. That black and, yeah, mamba. Yeah, the black ba- and mamba. And the green is. mamba. Yeah, yeah. Why they, do we always go back to sandwiches well, and snakes? I, I don't know. I love sandwiches They're interesting, and snakes. They're interesting really, when because, you look at them. Because everybody has a strong opinion on both of those. Yeah. <laughs> everybody yeah. loves sandwiches, yeah. and yeah. everybody should hate snakes. Yeah. yeah. I like snakes. I don't. Yeah. Nope. Nope. I like them as long as I don't see them. Hey. Oh, I like them when they ain't got a head. <laughs> Hey, you the shovel. only good snake is a dead snake. It's kind of like in boneless chickens, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. You ever been to a boneless chicken ranch? I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Do you notice when he hits the table, the TV flutter, yeah. hey. it goes off? Well, hey, technology and, and jarring don't go together. Okay. How did you know that? He's bouncing the. I ain't even going. No, I ain't going no further with the boneless frequencies. chicken. I hate boneless. Disturbing chicken. the frequency. <laughs> Those are chicken nuggets, people. <laughs> no, uh, so I've been at a boneless chicken place. That's right. Hey, the ranch. Oh, it's, don't go. What there. the Tyson hey, chicken look, nugget? Don't go farm? there, JD. They're just laying around. They can't. It look like a bunch of worms. <laughs> Lamp <laughs> noodle, lamp noodle. <laughs> ain't a bone in it. <laughs> <laughs> ain't a feathers. Bone at that range. If that ain't a dad joke, I don't know what it is. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a that's granddad joke. And, and JD just fell right in, yeah, boy. Yeah. Let's take our third break. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> If you're like me and you spend a lot of time on the river, next thing you know, you go around a blind curve and there's a big old barge. Mm. Let me tell you something. One thing's going to go through your mind. Do I have enough life insurance? (laughs) That's what goes through your mind? Well, that and get off the gas. You're always prepared, Barton. I am. Always prepared. I am a little prepared. I, I like that. I do operate under the belief of take care of your wife. Don't make her next husband rich, though, when it comes to life insurance. That's it, boys. So that is my... That's my thought process on it. But look, the folks over at Policy Genius are here to help you. They make it easy to compare quotes from over a dozen top insurers all in one place. Why compare? You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. You could save $1,300 or more per year on life insurance by using Policy Genius to compare those uh, prices and the policies. The licensed experts at Policy Genius work for you, not the insurance company, so you can trust them to help you navigate every step of the shopping and buying process. That kind of service has earned Policy Genius thousands of five star reviews across Trustpilot and Google. And eligible applicants can get covered in as little as a week thanks to an award winning policy option that swaps the standard medical exam requirement for a simple phone call. This exclusive policy was recently rated number one by Forbes. Higher than options from Ladder, Ethos, and Bestow. Getting started is easy. First, head to policygenius.com slash life. That's S-I-L-I-F-E. In minutes, you can work on how much life insurance coverage you need and compares personalized quotes to find your best price. When you're ready to apply, the Policy Genius team will handle the paperwork and scheduling for free. Policy Genius never sells your information to other companies. Policy Genius doesn't add on any extra fees. So head on over to policygenius.com slash scilife to get started right now. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. What other weird news we got, Sean? Let's, we, uh, we went into the spitting cobra. Yeah. Spitting cobra. Which isn't weird news. That's Here you go. Disturbing. Here's here's the headline. Iowa man allegedly threatens to blow up McDonald's over lack of sauces. <laughs> lack of sauces or yeah. sausage? No. 
Sausage. I got his mug shot and everything. Yeah, mug shot. Old Rob, age 42, called up his local McDonald's in Iowa after finding he had no sauces for his chicken McNuggets, and he threatened to blow up the restaurant and punch an employee over the offense. Oh. Rob, I think we need man. a life advice hey. segment. Hey. Rob, my man, look. Class mm-hmm. D felony. First mistake, going to McDonald's for chicken nuggets. Unless it was like 11 p.m. and that's the only thing <laughs> that's open. That's the only thing open. Yeah. I mean, right. But odds are you got like some ham or turkey at home that'll that'll do that for you. But I am, yeah. But then yeah. you're going to blow it up because they ain't got no sauce? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. make your own. Right. <laughs> I've had all them sauces. Ain't nothing worth blowing up there. Calm yeah. down, man. Like, <laughs> it ain't cane sauce. Yeah. Hey. Like, come on, man. Would you blow up a Cane's if they ran no, out of Cane's No, I would sauce? If not if they ran out of it. I'd be upset if they were like, we don't have it. That's kind of their thing. Yeah, right? I mean, that's your deal. Like, But, but there's no reason for violence. No, Rob. I'd be like, you know what? I can't help it. It's good that tea. was a good <laughs> one. Good <laughs> hey, good <laughs> tea, boy. Hey. I'd be like, I'd just be like, you know what? I probably got something at home I can dip it in. <laughs> Matters 101, I'd fail that. Okay. Well, yeah. Are well, you talking about uh, blowing up the McDonald's? Or? No. No, okay. with my I don't even with hear my the, bur- I don't even hear his belches yeah, anymore. My, so. with my bur- it shakes my chair. So oh, there you go. Oh, hey. All right, we're back. And Let's we're back. Get in that hello at duck call room mailbag. But huh. before we do, hold on. Hold on. We oh. gotta remind people where to find oh. us. Oh. YouTube.com slash duck call room, all one word. And we're gonna go for so many more episodes. It's Maybe fun. allegedly. We'll see. Allegedly, boy. but hey. If you haven't, go back, leave us a nice rating and review on Apple Podcast on our first 50. Look, don't wait for the next 50. Don't quit procrastinating. Carpe diem. Do not put on. Seize the day. Hit them bells, stars, all that good stuff. All right, Johnny D, what's in that mailbox? Hello at duckcallroom.com. I've been reading them all morning. We're getting a lot. A lot of good ones. Um, I like this one from Jeremy in Grassy, Missouri. He needs advice on how to get rid of pests. So here we go. His question is anybody that can chime in, how do you go about getting rid of the population of moles? These little rascals Mm. are about the most annoying things. I have a huge family that lives on my little slice of heaven in southeast Missouri, and they've made my yard a playpen. Si? Lab. Get a lab. No. A lab. Cat. Cat. Kitty kitty cat. Sweet pea. Kitty cat wouldn't get rid of them. You got to get you one of them traps. Oh, to kill the little spear oh, yeah. trap? Yeah, the, the knife trap. Yeah. What? You ain't yeah. seen them things? Oh, you ain't seen that? What does it do? Well, you put it, it. You find their tunnel, like yeah. their, one of their travel corridors. Yeah. You put it over it, and then they go through it, trip it, whop, straight yeah. and, down on And come down a big spear spearhead. Yep. That's yep. true. I'm looking oh, yeah. at them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was that yeah. easy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was hoping to And then like, skin it and yeah. give it to your girlfriend for a powder puff. Oh, okay. huh? There you go. Or that's what they or used to you can make a tobacco pouch out of it. In the cowboy days, yeah. Or back make a in tobacco the pouch out days, of it. They'd make powder puffs out of them. The yeah. women did. What's a powder puff? They put powder. that powder oh, like, in yeah. there. Yeah. Hey. They use that. They I use forget mold. it. Yeah. Mole skin. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You could use the muskrat too. They're why real, they're real you, fluffy. Why you got a face looking like that? Who yeah. would want to put a mole on their face? You don't put it's the oh, he fur. Was, Some he was people like are fur. born with them there. It's the fur. You yeah. put it in the powder and then. I just thought my called her holy moly. <laughs> holy moly. <laughs> Moles just seem kind of gross to me. I apologize. <laughs> I thought I liked it. Holy moly, boys. <laughs> Uh, we on a blue collar <laughs> comedy tour, son. Oh, ain't nobody heard that joke since 2002. Oh, no, it is still funny. Amen. Hey. Amen. <laughs> we got done got side tickled over. There. Lord. Have oh, mercy. good grief. Okay. You good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's hey. Best laugh of the day. <laughs> All right. Well, let's take our last break. We'll be back right after this. Let's go with this one. Dusty, uh, she sends in, she had, she loved our comments on dating advice on going to church to find someone. Here's her problem. At her church, the only guy within 10 years of her age is the preacher, and he has five kids. So he's off limits. He's out. She, she didn't, he's she out. didn't he's say nothing married. about his wife. She just said he had five kids. I'm, I'm going to assume married. he's married. Okay. Yeah, we're figuring he's married. Well, um, he may be a widow. So if we have any other suggestions uh, on how to find people besides at 
church. Are you a one church town? Are you a one church town? I was just or a group. I mean, there, there's groups. I doubt I, if it's I a one church it. town. Because most of the towns I've driven through, they got two churches. They got, no, they got a whole bunch of them. Yeah. 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 So you just need to go go drive it through your go town. Go visit. Yeah. I'm yeah. not saying become a member of the other Yeah, church. you don't have to become a member. Go visit. Hey, go visit and look at the uh, potential. The potential. Yeah. Okay. That is a problem. Fellows that are at this other. Or perhaps get with all the uh, other churches and yeah. organize a mixer. A mixer. There you, there you go. There you go. Hey. there you go. I like hey, a mixer. You might establish something big here. Yeah, you okay. may start a new ministry. Girl. Yeah. Go, yeah. go. There boy. you go. Okay. There okay. it is, there Dusty. Yeah. And you say, well, problem. I can't that's do that. That's actually pretty good I advice. I can't do that. See? Ain't nobody no, else no. doing it. Hey. Yeah. And then she also yeah. asked us to tell stories of how we met our significant others, but especially Stone, since he isn't much of a people person. <laughs> oh, hey, well, they'll that, arrange that. that. No, that no, means. no, no. Look, that's very easy. Okay, Grandpa, you know, <laughs> is the one that you know got this thing now, started. Now, yeah. I ain't saying we that, went back to the 1500s, but we's close. Yeah. <laughs> we was oh close. yeah, oh yeah. We was, scared it on that one. There was two women got that started. Well, hey, look, was it? Hey. What's that, two women? Miss Paula? And Lisa. And Lisa? Because Stone was living with me, and Anna was living across the road. <laughs> yeah. ah. Paula and said Stone, two, and them two to women. Go. Yeah, but the okay, Al, Al yeah, but the okay for it was Phil Robertson. That's because okay. I Grandpa. told Phil yeah. to talk to him. But look. Because yeah. uh, he was too embarrassed to ask how if he could date her. Well, hey, that's the you best. And Miss, you and Miss Paula needed some alone time, didn't you? Uh, uh, Pay them bills. I wouldn't well, want Stone, Stone quit falling for that. Well, he worked he? during the day. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 didn't you? No, shift work. Uh, shift work back in, baby. Yeah, yeah. back in, baby. Change oh. all the time. Oh, that was way back when, huh? Oh, yeah. That's changed all the time. Oh, yeah. Back Stone in the and Anna have been married for like 20 years. Yeah, I guess so. 15. Yeah. 15, 17, 15. something. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So that's the been story. I met Allison at Raising Cane's. There you go, on What's that out? sauce bag. At the sauce counter. Then you went and got on that pizza. He was saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm I'm sorry. He went and got on that pizza. Yeah. Yeah. You, all I'm, right, next question. Y'all let oh, fried no, no, I ain't. Right. Yeah. I met that good-looking redhead I married. On the, Hitchhiking, boy. Yeah, on the side yeah. of the road. <laughs> I was on the side of the road. I was dating Paula's roommate. <laughs> Uh -oh. And her name was Paula. This uh -oh. is the whole episode. Hey, what, Paula, kind of, hey. what kind of Jerry Springer thing just I happened? Was just you were saying, dating hey. Paula, and then you married her roommate, Paula? Yeah. That's all right. Paula one and Paula two. Uh-oh. I hope you hey, say Miss Paula. Hey, Paula hey, one. Hey. No, no, this boy's got a hang-up with Paula's. <laughs> hey, don't let him go see Paula Dean, boy. <laughs> 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 I think you've been typecast, Gavin. <laughs> right. Hey, this boy likes Paula's only. Right? Ooh. <laughs> How do you feel about Paula Abdul? She, oh. She's pretty cool. She can dance. Uh, she can dance, boy. Hey. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I, told you, I told you he's hung up with Paula's. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have enough time for that story, but yeah. I really want to hear it. Yeah. I uh, wasn't much uh, to it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It didn't it's last long. It's just a trade up. He said it's a simple trade up. Yeah, Ain't no it, big deal. It, did, it didn't last long. He the said, first Paula, so I just moved <laughs> on to the other. I like your roommate <laughs> way better than yeah. you. Lady. Say, why are you here? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you <laughs> want? Hey, well, you want to go out? Yeah. I don't know. I got. Hey, I had two of them. At, I had two of them at the same location. Well, the first one didn't work out. So hey, yeah. come back and see what the second one. Hey, I was in, still in the same in the good basket there. There, there you go. Yeah, boy, that you is go. fish funny. barrel. Fish barrel. Yeah. There you go. Well, hey, boy, That's it worked funny. out. What else you got? Oh, what else you got, Jay? All right, that's probably be the last one. But I, I like this one, and I feel like we're all experts in the category. Courtney uh, from Florence, Alabama. Sends in, uh, they live in Florence, obviously. Roll Tide. And, <sighs> hey, this is that bottom we're talking about, boys. Hey, why do you do that? Because like Alabama. everybody from Alabama that's in them comments just went, yeah! yeah, yeah. Hey, it, <laughs> everybody else in the comments, we <laughs> Which is going to allow us to do hey, 51. Hey, yeah. <laughs> but go ahead. We love Uncle Courtney. Nick. They will be visiting West Monroe in a couple weeks. Oh, yep. Sorry. Yep. Are there any must-see places, and more importantly, any places we must eat? All hmm. suggestions are welcome. Hmm. Visiting yeah. West Monroe. Yeah. Tips. Visiting. Hmm. Yeah. 
We got a lot of Waffle Houses. Yeah, places to eat. (laughs) We got two (laughs) Chick-fil-A's. Hey, there's, I mean, the problem is you're coming at a bad time of year to experience Louisiana because crawfish is probably going to be gone. Crawfish is, yep. They're gone. I saw a guy dumping crawfish into my pond like last week and I mm -hmm. was like, really? That's one of them farms. Get them all. Yeah. And then their shells are too hard to sell, so they'll sell them as bait so you can stock your pond with them. Oh, no, these were cooked crawfish. He was just throwing the shell. I was like, he was just throwing crawfish. That's a lot. Yeah. There's still yeah. you can still get you some, but yeah, you're gonna miss all the good local stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's some there's some places around, you know, Cotton Parish, all them kind of places. Johnny's Pizza, yeah. Johnny's That's Pizza, our famous if you're Doe's in the, Steakhouse, Doe's is we good. Traps, 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 traps is a solid local place. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just and then you can come by the Duck Commander Warehouse, yeah, and visit come, us. Come if, by the office, if that's what take you want a tour, to do. take a yeah. tour. If that's what build you your own do. duck call. It's a three. Hours. If you've never seen Not a, three hours. if you've never seen a cypress swamp, you can head on out to Black Bayou Lake National oh, yeah. Wildlife Refuge. It's that's pretty a cool. cool. Place. Yep. Yep. They got a little boardwalk. You can go walk around. Maybe see, see an alligator. No, you will see one of them. Yeah. There's no doubt about yeah. that. That place full of them. Yeah. But alligators. Yeah. Um, that's what they made. What was that? Yeah. Who made that noise? Got one. Got one. An alligator. You didn't even say it, did you? Yeah. Only a duck man can do something like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sad. And but the water, the water bubbles. Yep. When they do it, the water bubbles. Yeah. When they do that, because it's deep down in their lungs, and it just the alligator the, we caught that the one vibration time was just hissing at us. Yeah. yeah, he'll do that too. Yeah. That was weird. But that's, you know, that's the that's the deal. The, with hey, Gimber, our old oh, office Gimber. mate, he's oh, yeah. got a place called the Levy Grill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Levy you can go Grill. check that out. Yeah, yep. yeah then it's on the Levy. There's some new place called the Flying Heart. I don't, I haven't eaten there. Have you? Mm-mm. I'm interested. They Never got pizza. heard of it. The Frying it's Heart? Flying Heart. Oh, flying the Flying Heart. heart. If it, it was Frying Heart. Oh, okay. okay. Where's it located? At downtown somewhere. Yeah. We have a very large downtown metropolis area here in West Monroe, so if you go down there, you might get lost. Large. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a street. You can skip a stone all the way to the end. <laughs> we are a even, small town. You ain't even got to throw it. You can just kick it. Right. It, does, kick it, it amazes me that people visit West Monroe. You know what you need to do? Get a time machine. Go back to 1998. But they're from Florence. Are they coming to see Jennifer? Like, Maybe. Is it a relative coming uh, to see yeah, Jennifer because she had her Different baby? last name. Oh, okay. oh, different last name. Um, Just curious. But Maybe you get a time thing. machine. You go back to 1998, and you come and watch the Monroe Moccasins play. And that's, oh, good, that is the uh, most fun any human being has uh, ever had in this town. I had to uh. go back to the 1800s. That's and Monroe? I'd, yep. Uh, you could walk across the river right there in front of Howard. Was that some of your folk? The Howard Griffin? Ancestors. Which one? Howard Griffin. Those were not. Those were other Howards. You could walk across the river back in. You could mm-hmm. walk across places. the water. That's what told Granny told me. Yeah. 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 It was nothing but a ditch. Yeah. It was right. a regulation river. Yeah, it's a regular yeah. river. You could walk across it? Yeah. 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 It she wasn't until locks and dams and levees went up that it got to be what it is now. Yeah. yeah. You could do it down there in the Big Bend where Phil's property is. Mm-hmm. Shells. That's a okay. big river. A lot, mm-hmm. lot of shells. Uh, Why are we doing that? Most of shells and stuff. Why are we doing it? Yeah. Barge traffic. Commerce. Barge yeah. traffic. Yeah. Commerce. Well, I didn't money, know. The, money, the bridge is never up anymore. Yeah. I made that false assumption last summer, too, about died. So huh? there's still plenty of barges that come up and oh, down that river. Oh, they still come up now. Oh, okay. buddy. Yeah, they will. Yeah. Uh, if you find one in a blind curve, that's a good time there. Yeah. You got to <laughs> hold on. You got to woe up. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you woe up, that first one yeah. still smarts. It don't yeah. matter. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Like, oh. yeah. They make a pretty good wake. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that is West Especially Monroe. if they're loaded. There you go. Yeah, yeah. West Monroe. That's Come visit us. Not a lot to do during the summertime. It's going to be hot. Yeah. I'm just warning you there. Go so. swimming. Hot and you humid. You can go then. swimming yep. in the river. Yep. Or yep. The Probably lakes. ought to let that river die down a little bit. It's got a lot of current in it. So. It's quick. But that is West Monroe. Yep. Come visit us. That's us. Come see us. Come, Come by the us. store. Take a tour. Hey, you might even want to run by the honey hole. Drop us off some peanut M and M's. Oh, honey hole! There's a tourist location. Yeah, yeah. There, you there, go. Go. there it is, yeah. boy. There you go. If you ever wanted to see how many fishing baits you could fit into an old Seven yep. Eleven, they count. might be setting the world record Stay for in. that. Count the minutes. Come on a Sunday, go to meetings with us. Count the minutes. That's right, boys. Go to meetings. <laughs> yeah. Weiss Road, Christchurch, choose your deal. It hey, don't matter. There's Either a one. bunch of churches in this yeah. town. 
We got all there of them. There you go. Well, all what's right. our verse? Let's well, let's I'm going to let Courtney from Florence, Alabama give us the verse, too. She said, oh, she, cool. she tagged the little one on of Psalms 34, 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Which is a good verse. It's a solid verse, Amen. baby. Yep. Well, Courtney, maybe we'll see you when you get here. Yeah. But until, we're out. Until next time, we will see y'all at 51. And so, 52 we'll and 140. We'll Thanks for listening. <laughs>